Hi, my name is Salil. I'm a product manager at CircleCI, and I'm excited to introduce Dynamic Config. I'm going to demo how to use this feature to generate config via script. Dynamic Config is a feature we introduced to allow customers to use CircleCI jobs to generate and set pipeline parameters and CircleCI config. We found cases where the static config linked to a particular Git revision was too rigid, and we wanted to give customers more flexibility in determining what should run at runtime. We think this feature is going to be particularly useful for a lot of our customers who are using monorepos, but we think customers using all types of configurations are going to get value out of this. So the example I wanted to walk through is generating config via a script. I have a repository here that's been set up as a CircleCI project, uh, and you can see that there's a script here called generate config. If you take a look, this is a pretty standard Python. And if you look here, there's a Python dictionary called config, which looks very similar to a CircleCI config. It's setting up some jobs and, and, and a workflow. There's also some logic in here that modifies this dictionary to add an additional job if, there, if uh, it's a weekday, uh, as well as to add an approval job uh, if the time is during a deployment blackout window from 8 p.m. to 3 a.m. on weekdays. And if you look at the bottom, you can see there is a section where we take this entire dictionary and dump it out to, to YAML. And if we actually run this script, you'll see this looks like pretty standard CircleCI YAML. If you look at the actual CircleCI config, this one looks a little bit different. Uh, the first thing to note is that we have this setup tag equal to uh, set to true. This is what lets CircleCI know that this is dynamic config uh, and that we should actually do some, some special work as a result. The rest is mostly just setting up a Python environment, running the script and persisting it to a file. Finally, we have a workflow which runs this particular job uh, and then takes that uh, generated config YAML file and passes it as a parameter to this continue job. This is a job that's, that's uh, part of an orb created by CircleCI, which takes everything inside the YAML and then adds it to the pipeline. To give you an idea of what this actually looks like, I'm gonna kick off this pipeline uh, via our API. If you take a look, it'll pop up on my screen in just a second. And you can see here, the, uh, it's created that, that setup job. Uh, as well as the continue job, which is pending because it's not uh, the, the setup job is still running. And you'll also notice that uh, right next to the workflow name, there's this little setup tag, and that indicates to us that this is dynamic config, and this is a workflow that's being used to generate config and parameters to be used later on. Uh, as you can see, we're now in the continue job that's going to run, and that's completed successfully. If we wait for just a few more seconds, you'll see the build job and the weekday job that were defined in that generated file have now popped up and they're now running. So the build job is gonna run and execute uh, and the weekday job is gonna continue as well. Um, while this is running, one of the other cool things that we can do is if you take a look at the configuration file uh, for this particular one, you can see here the config that pops up. This is the actual circle.circleci slash config.yaml that you can see, but you have uh, the option to also see the config that was generated out of it if you want to go back and uh, debug. If we go back to the pipeline, we should see this is completed. And that is how you can use uh, a dynamic config to generate uh, config via script and use dynamic config to, to solve a lot of really cool problems that way.